Good morning from one of four Disney parks down here in Florida. Today I'm going to be heading into Hollywood Studios. This park I'm so excited to get in. You've got Tower of Terror over in the distance. You've also got Rock and Roller Coaster. Really excited to get on those and of course explore what the park has to offer. In terms of opening times today, it was 8.30 up until 8 o'clock, I think. I'll check that, but I'm pretty sure it's half eight or eight-ish. Uh, when it closes. So that's plenty of time to get on some of my favourite rides here. But yeah, it looks like such a nice park just walking in. You've got this huge entrance plaza here. The palm trees are out. It's a lovely day. It's quite humid. The sun's not directly on me, but it's quite a humid day. I can't wait to head in Hollywood Studios. Honestly, I'm so excited to get in and go rocking roller coasters. It's one of my most anticipated roller coasters and hopefully it lives up to my expectations. So with all that said, let's head through security and head in Hollywood Studios. Let's go. Heading into Hollywood Studios then, I mean, wow, look at it down here, it's like being in a movie. I've never been here before, my first time visit. Hopefully we can get some on-ride footage as well with the GoPro, as Disney do allow you to film on-ride, most of the time anyway. But yeah, look down here, heading to Rock and Roller Coaster first, in Indoor Roller Coaster, located here at Hollywood Studios. But yeah, this is really nice, all the theming down here is done really well. Almost like you're in a movie set, you can hear the soundtrack behind me as well. Um, which really makes it just immerse yourself into this sort of movie, I guess you could sort of call it. It's a really nice park, especially with all the palm trees like towering over you. It's really nice. Anyway, we're going to head to Rock and Roller Coaster. Currently on a 30 minute queue. Not too bad, to be fair. Here we go, entering the roll Rock and Roller Coaster area. Wow, look at this theme with all the, I think it's like the strings from the guitar that make this entrance. And you've got all the park hands up there as well. But yeah, look at the huge guitar there, Rockin' Roller Coaster, starring Aerosmith. Wow, the guitar is literally huge. It's like the main theming structure of this whole roller coaster. Looks amazing. Wow, look at that. It's huge. It looks really freshly painted as well with the red. Looks really vibrant. Anyway, the queue's about 50 minutes, so we're going to head on this. And uh, yeah, hopefully get some on ride from it as well. Let's go. If you've ever been to Autumn Towers, literally now we've got some retro squad music coming on some 80s music. It's quite cool. Brings back memories of the Retro Squad. <laughs> if you haven't already, go and check out uh, a few weeks ago, recorded Norton Towers vlog. So you haven't already, go and check that out. We do, we're showing you all the updates from Enterprise and Hex. But yeah, the music in this queue line is pretty cool. Brilliant launch coaster here at Disney World Hollywood Studios. Really enjoyed that. The only thing that, two complaints about that ride, the restraint system and uh, the pre-show. The pre-show was dreadful. It made sense, the storyline made sense. Um, I don't think it was very engaging at all, to be honest. But yeah, in terms of the actual ride experience, really enjoyed it. However, the restraint system, over the heads. We need to get over the heads out of here because lap bars are the way forward nowadays. The overhead were really uncomfortable. It came down quite a lot and it hurt my shoulders quite a bit. And interestingly, in the UK, you expect someone to come check your restraints, but here, literally, you check them yourself and then they're ready, they send the train. 
But yeah, in terms of the ride experience, really enjoyed it. Only waited about 50 minutes for it. Not too bad. Next, Next up, up then, it's time for Star Tours down here in the sort of entering the Star Wars area. Only 25 minutes as well. I believe there's some sort of simulator ride, simulation. Uh, it says on the app there's some small drops and stuff. This is what I love about coming to a new theme park. You don't know what to expect. Really excited for it. Here we go, 25 minutes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Star Tours, let's go. Only 25 minute wait as well. Yeah, as I was saying, I love coming to new places. You don't have no idea what to expect. But yeah, oh, look at that. But yeah, really cool. Let's head on. Hopefully we can get some on-ride footage from this as well. Wait! R2-D2, I am not programmed to fly these things. Now just turn us around this instant before we get into trouble. Stop right there. Don't shoot. I know you have a spy on board. Arthur, I don't like the look of this. Star Tours, what are you doing here? No idea. Then stay close. If you want to stay alive, you're going to need some cover. Pull off! Our pilots, this is it. Star Tours, what a brilliant simulation ride that was. The quality of the screen was incredible. Really enjoyed it. Nice mix between physical theming and of course the screen. Didn't wait too long for it, 20 minutes, not too bad at all. Really enjoyed that though. Essentially, you've seen from the on-ride footage, you're going through like the Star Wars area and the, it's flying and it's really well timed with the screen actually. I'm not, I haven't watched really a lot of Star Wars, so if you know what goes on, we're going to like this outer galactic world, I don't know. It was a really cool ride anyway. The simulations, I love simulator rides. When they're done well here at Disney, they can be a really cool ride experience. Next up though, I think I'm gonna get a bubble waffle. I love bubble waffles. If you've seen my UK videos, uh, then you'll see that I really do love them, especially at Drayton Manor. And we'll see how they are here at Hollywood Studios. And then we're gonna head to Tower Terror, uh, the hotel, the drop ride, uh, the haunted house here at Hollywood Studios. And then we'll either go on the other Star Wars ride or Slinky Dog Dash, whatever that roller coaster is called. So far, really enjoying my day though, here at Hollywood Studios. We've got a picture. So I've just had one of my nicest brownies ever. If you know me, I like dessert from ice cream down here at Hollywood Studios. It was absolutely lovely. Can't fault it at all. Nice hot brownie, nice hot sauce, vanilla, ice cream on top, um, and a bit of whipped cream. It was absolutely brilliant. Next up though, it's time for a classic ride down here at Hollywood Studios. It's time for the Hollywood Tower Hotel. This is like some sort of haunted dark, uh, drop tower. And if you can see up there, the drop tower, essentially the lift doors open and then you drop. I'm not too sure, hopefully we can get some on-ride footage here as well. Uh, it's only on a 50 minute wait, which is not too bad at all. I think I'm gonna make this my last ride, or I might go on something else um, before I head out of this park, because it's really hot now. But yeah, I'm gonna head on this, only 50 minute wait, not too bad, you'd wait longer for Smiler at Orton Towers. But yeah, not too busy in terms of crowd levels down here today at Hollywood Studios. There's quite a few people around, but of course the America holidays have actually finished now. Uh, so I guess kids are back at school, work's beginning, beginning, beginning again. Uh, so yeah, in terms of crowd levels, it's not too busy. The busiest rides here are of course Star Wars, the Star Wars area are really busy. You're going to be waiting over two hours if you do want to do those Star Wars rides. But yeah, next up, let's go on Hollywood Tower of Terror. Let's go. Twilight Zone. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest part of imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Oh my god! 
Twilight Zone. Wow, what a ride that was, honestly. The thing is, the drop's not huge, but still, it's an incredible ride, honestly. Like, you think it's gonna drop, you see from the footage, not that you can see much on the GoPro during uh, when it's dark, but you go up a few levels, one level you actually go in, sort of like a dark ride section, and then you have that main drop. The big drop down, then just a few more drops, then the last one's a big one, and then you exit. But really what that is, there's no bars, just a little seatbelt, it's the anticipation of not knowing. I mean, look up there, it's a brilliant drop tower. Over here I've got my brother, he does not like drop towers. Drop towers, I think I can do most roller coasters and any that sort of thing, but for me, drop towers are the worst. I get butterflies in my stomach, yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> he was literally bracing himself, ready for it. I braced myself as soon as I put the seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> because so. we, he hasn't been here for ages and I, I've never been on it, so I was just, I was just waiting for it to drop. Like it was, it was so long till it actually dropped, and you got different scenes in it. It was such a good ride, though. One of the best here. It's so good. You better get yourself on. Didn't wait 50 minutes. Waited about what 10 minutes? I think yeah, we waited for about 10 minutes, um, and then obviously the pre-show and whatnot started. So yeah. yeah, we were probably waiting for about 10, 15 minutes when the queue time was supposedly 50 minutes. So. Yeah. And I think we're gonna end our day here at Hollywood Studios. It's really hot, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, can you see him sweating? It's really hot. Yeah, I think we're going to wrap up, see a few more bits, and then wrap up our vlog here from Hollywood Studios. Next up then, it's time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They're going to make this my last ride down here at Hollywood Studios. Don't really know what it is, but it looks like a, quite a big building. So let's go. Testing, testing, this thing on.
My day from Hollywood Studios just outside the main entrance. Really enjoyed my day here. They've got a great selection of rides from Trackless Dark Rides to Tower of Terror. Really did enjoy the rock and roller coaster as well. What a classic. Really did enjoy my day. I've heard that if you do want to get on the most rides, uh, then I've heard November or December is a good time to come. So I recommend coming around there if you do want to get on the most rides. The Star Wars area is really nice, however, didn't get on too many rides in there because I just wasn't willing to queue over two hours for them. But I'm sure they're pretty good simulator rides. Um, we did go on Star Tours, which is really good. Really thoroughly enjoyed that. Hope you enjoy the on-ride POVs in this video. And of course, later on in the channel, we'll be uploading them as separate POVs if you do want to enjoy, enjoy them separately. With all that said, Hollywood Studios is definitely one of the strongest parks here at Disney World and really thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, do consider subscribing as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.